Chapter 844, Hambone versus Meat Man. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of the Pa D Cast. I am your host and captain, the best guy ever. And with me, as always, is Hypocrite. I have a YouTube channel. I should have mentioned that a long time ago. <laughs> what is it? It's uh, youtube.com slash hypocrite show. No, I mean, I mean, what's a YouTube channel? Uh, We're you... just two pirate boys <laughs> on a ship. I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, that's the new science from Vegapunk. Whoa, whoa! Vegapunk invented YouTube. That's yep. I can see it. I can see it happening. Probably, invent- it's probably there's. I bet. Yeah, go on. He invented the internet because the internet was like in yeah. a military thing. He works for the Marines. That's that's true. I bet at some point, uh, like the Denden Mushis have taken on more and more roles. When are we gonna get the Denden Mushi smartphone? It's gotta happen at some point. He's just gonna open his mouth and be like, blah. There's gonna be a little touch screen in his mouth that does Ew. various you get a, gross things. You yeah, have to use be... your tongue. <laughs> that's all right. You made it gay. <laughs> officially, hashtag made it gay. All right. Uh, so the chapter eight forty four, Luffy versus Sanji. So let me say first of all, last chapter or last last episode of the podcast, I predicted. That, I mean, it was pretty clear, yeah. but that this was going to be a big Luffy v. Sanji battle chapter. I mean, what else And in many be? ways, in many ways, it absolutely was. But I actually want to say that I was totally wrong uh, in, in the, like, the way that it was handled. And I'm so glad. This was a chapter that the first time I read it, I thought it was fine. It was, you know, totally par for the course. But upon reading it a second and a third time which is what I do because I'm a crazy person, I realized that this is a way more genius way to handle this situation than I had expected. Why, because why did you only figure that on yeah. the second read? I think it's, it was just because I read it fast, you I, know? Uh, maybe. I, I, I figured it out straight reader. away because I'm the greatest. Well, we're not all geniuses, Hippo. Some of us are a little... Some of us ate the slow, slow fruit. It takes us a couple times to read. You got uh, hit by the foxy beam. That's exactly right. The narrow, narrow. That's, that's the one. Narrow, narrow beam. Uh, so last time, uh, oh, the, the the thing that came to mind, I said last chapter or last episode was uh, that I I thought this was going to be like the Sanji version of the Whiskey Peak Zoro and uh, uh, Luffy fight, and it just it absolutely was not. That yeah, fight was... was silly and goofy and was just like lol, it'd be funny to put Sanji or uh, uh, Zoro and Luffy against each other. But this chapter, oh my god. Yeah, this god. was... Um, so good. This so was like good. a combination of... the. It's actually a combination of three things. It's a combination of the Robin thing, but like before yep, yep. Sanji actually asks for help. Like, mm-hmm. he doesn't actually go, oh, I want to live, or anything. Um, yeah. It's like a combination of that, uh, the bit where... Uh, one of my th- oh, I forgot. Uh, but uh, one of the other things was, it reminded mm. me of uh, Arlong Park. Where at the yeah, end Luffy yeah. says, "I'm gonna wait here until you ask me to to help you," because it's it's the, that sort of that sort of um <laughs> like instead of oh yeah and the the other thing it's uh, combining is him uh, doing the Sanji thing of not fighting back when it's yep. not necessary and he realizes it's not necessary because you know he doesn't want to beat Sanji to a pulp and bring him back he just wants Sanji to come back so if to me if, uh-huh, if Sanji uh-huh. wants to you know, he has to wait until Sanji asks him. And the reason it reminds me of Along Park is because of the specific page that I went and looked at. Page 16 of chapter 81. Ooh, research. Yeah, uh, where um, Nami's crying and she uh, Luffy's just put the hat on her. Oh yeah, that's that's and, the famous and one. Then, that's the one where it turns. And then it's like... Um, and then the all, march the to Arlong the Park three, happens? Oh yeah, my god, it's the, the, insane! The, the, the rest of the three of them were all standing there waiting. Oh, Luffy was God. waiting. They were waiting for the permission to help, you know? Oh, those panels. Oh, They're just so oh! good. <laughs> They're so fucking good. That's the shit. Uh, so, it's that, it's uh, that same, wait, like, yeah. We, uh-huh. we got, we, they got to wait for Sanji to, yeah. to say, please, <laughs> save me. So, okay. So let's go into a little bit of detail because we, we've talked a lot about how much we love it. But so what's happening? I'm, you've probably read the chapter by now. But if you haven't, what's happening is that uh, – uh, 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 fuck, what is happening, Gib? I, I forgot what you happened. Forgot what oh, happened. right. They, there, uh, okay. It, Sanji is Luffy, beating the shit out of Luffy and he's that's, saying – That's right. Go, Luffy, go then, away. Just just go away. Just, just, just go away. And Luffy's <laughs> like, no. 
uh, not gonna happen, bitch. And more uh, to the point. Well, okay, that's that's entirely true. But well, it's it's Luffy standing there while Sanji says, "You need to leave, or I'm going to just fucking beat you up, you schoolyard nerd." And I'm the bully man, and Luffy says, "I will not move, I will not leave, and I will not fight back." Because, and in this way, it almost felt like like Oda was answering my criticisms from last chapter. And this is this is one of those times when I feel like a fool for criticizing One Piece, and I love that feeling. I love it. So everyone beat me up. I'm an idiot too, <laughs> because what what Oda did this chapter was set kind of set our expectations with like like being sort of dumb in the sense that like of Sanji was saying all the shit that obviously wasn't true like get out I never liked you guys you're a bunch of fucking fags I hate you you're dumb leave uh and we're just like we don't we don't buy it at all like why are you this is just a waste of our time but this chapter is is Luffy saying all the things we were thinking like obviously I don't believe any of this this is clearly bullshit you need to come back with me oh, oh my god the way the, like the, the little things that we're doing as readers of like thinking back and the little flashback panels to like yeah. moments uh, of of their shared history together like the parties they had had and my favorite one was at the very end of the chapter uh, when uh, it flashes back to like the moment when Sanji decided he was gonna join when it's just Sanji looking at the camera and it's like have you heard of All Blue? And it's from Luffy's perspective, seeing Sanji looking at him. Have you heard of All Blue? Oh, and that's when their dreams united and they became bros for life. <laughs> and at that moment, Sanji would never betray Luffy. Not not like this. So, oh, oh, it was so good. It was so good. I, lo I, I love the line so about, like, every time... You kicked me. That was that was the pain you were feeling, not me. Oh, well, that's you know that's the whole thing. Like so, the the chapter starts with and to be frank, there wasn't like a lot of things that happened to this chapter. It was mostly Luffy getting beat up and then responding to getting beat up. Yeah. But so at the beginning, Sanji's just going ham and kicking the shit out of Luffy. Uh, but then and that just happens for a while, and then later, um, like Sanji's trying to leave. And he's in the, you know, he's getting, he's in the car, like, they're driving away from Luffy's beaten up body, and, and Luffy calls out to him, he's like, Sanji, I know that you can't be doing, I know this isn't serious, this is, I'm going to wait here for you to come back, because I refuse to leave and become Pirate King without you, because I know that you are my bro for life, we're true Nakama boys, yeah, you're a member of my was, ninja clan. It was, it was interesting that, he, I think that was like the first time... And Sanji breaks down, and he just starts crying. He's just, I, he's I think, just a um, mess. That's the first time Luffy's like said explicitly that I can't become the Pirate King without you, like... He, that's he, oh dude that's the thing this this is this is new fucking territory happening this chapter that luffy would willingly put his own dreams on hold i don't know if people realize this but luffy d would not do this sort of thing uh for just anybody he would not do this for like rebecca or or for the population of dress rosa he wouldn't do that shit He's yeah. he's not willing to like just just stand here and waste away. If it came to like he has to go beat up an enemy or do something like that, that he would probably be down for. But to but to choose to wait here for someone to change their mind about something, that oh it's yeah he's, this, he's this putting is putting it all on Sanji because he he knows that fighting him is is, is yeah. pointless here and he's not going to do it. He's his brother. He wouldn't. He he can't do it. Oh my god! I can't. I'm sorry. This is a total clusterfuck of of things we're saying. This is totally out of order and, and well, possibly I mean, hard to keep track of. But the people who who watch this podcast hopefully read the chapter before coming here. That's that's true. Which I encourage. I encourage everybody to do that. Yeah. Okay, but uh, all right. Let's let's take a step oh. back. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. okay. If you got something, go ahead. Well, I I just wanted to say that um I like the the subtle hints that the the rest of the Vinsmoke family kind of already get it that they know that Sanji actually does like Luffy and he's just pretending yeah. but he has to pretend otherwise Luffy would that, you know I, I, keep trying I was to get him I was going to say something like that because honestly that might have been my favorite thing about the chapter it's just the way well, just just it's one thing I really loved about it because Luffy, uh, you know, they they do this whole emotional thing. He beats him up, he leaves, and then Sanji is just so obviously agonized and starts crying after putting up this whole facade to everybody. And the family, like, it's not like Oda 
uh, like showed them staring at him and being like, we understand that he's upset. It's like he didn't even focus on and they just continue to sit there in the small times that they are noticed and they're just allowing this to happen. Like they don't react. They don't say like, hey, I think you actually like this guy. It's just yeah. the way that it wasn't addressed that they did anything is is showing us how they have accepted the situation and it just makes it even more fucked up that they that like they're okay with forcing Sanji to go through this pain. Oh, it's it characterizes every party in such a great rich way. Ooh, baby was good. Yeah, he's fooling nobody. Literally. Yeah. Oh god, I loved it. Okay, but uh tangible detail that I really liked was that um, so during during the beatdown of Luffy, um, one thing I, I noticed was during the first kick to his face. I during love that, that kick, kick, it's it's, really uh, it's, good, it's great. Really uh, good Luffy panel. gets his tooth knocked out and appear and it's gone for the rest of the chapter. Yeah, you know, we all know it's anime logic, so it'll be back eventually. It's yeah. nothing to really worry about. But but just the fact that for this chapter that tooth remained gone and like really helped sell the thing that I'm going to talk about, which is that. All the kicks that Sanji did, and the fact that Luffy just stood there unguarded and just took them like a bitch, or rather, like a fucking hero, like a <laughs> champ, like, he looked like he was getting so beat up for yeah, real. This, is... this was like final arc battle level of damage that Luffy appeared to be taking, and it's, it's the particular way that Oda chose to draw Luffy and the damage he was taking, the way that his face was all messed up. Like he's, This uh, is, like this really is rare. This is not often... It's, yeah, it's, it's not it's, often um, that he looks this beat up. And it was so good at selling the horrific, si like, how awful this exchange is between the two. It was beautiful. Yeah, it's it's cool in that way, and it's also cool in the, mm -hmm. um, I mean, like, the, 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 the time when he, he was in the bar with Zoro, and he didn't, you know, he didn't they let, didn't fight he, back he didn't fight to back the guys. Because it, it was, like, the Shanks thing, but he was, like, he came out and he was bloody, yeah. but it's, like, that was nothing, you know? And that's Something another, like this. Like, this could, if it if it continued and Sanji was actually serious, I feel like Sanji is probably like holding back a bit because obviously, oh, yeah, yeah, that's probably true. So like, if he was actually really going for it, he got he you know could knock L Luffy out probably. And it was uh, yeah, it, yeah. Well, you know, it's 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 much more serious, and also it shows that how how strong Sanji is. Right. That was another good thing. For this is the first time that like the soldiers well, I mean, they're they're just fucking mooks like the soldiers, but they were like, Wow, he really is as strong as a Vince Smoke. We can't really take their opinion that seriously. I, we need to see like how he does against one of his brothers in a fight to actually know if he is stronger than them. Because to, to, at, at right now, we don't know if if Sanji truly is stronger than his family or not. Because every fight against them has been, you know, a big handicap in one way or another, so None of it's, like, set in stone. But I think that we will see eventually, because it hasn't been proven one way or the other, Sanji's going to beat the shit out of his whole family. It's going to happen, and I can't wait. I'm excited in a big way. Um, Was there anything so, you wanted to say about Nami? She was well, sort of here. I, I, yeah. And... She, I mean, she only did one thing, uh, but it was meaningful. You know You know what? Oh, like, yeah, I think the, your the comparison. Slap. I think your comparison to the Jaya arc uh, laughing them and beating them out of the bar is really apt for this chapter, and I hadn't even thought of that. And that uh, that is one of the best scenes in all of One Piece, especially yeah. the follow-up with Blackbeard. That that might be my single favorite panel, except for the bell after Skypiea. Uh, probably my number two panel, the one where Blackbeard is saying, a man's dream will never die! That might be the best thing in all of One Piece. But, um, and coincidentally, they're both in the Skypiea Jaya arc. Interesting. Yeah. Um, but the way that, uh, the only thing Nami really did uh, was slap the shit out of Sanji, which left a mark, so she's serious. And it was more of a, of a statement that, you know, you have gone over the line. This is unacceptable, what you have said to Luffy and me. Uh, and obviously Sanji's doing it because he's trying to encourage them to leave. He doesn't want them to put themselves at risk by trying to save him. So it's understandable why he's doing what he's doing, but, you know, Nami is not, not quite as forgiving as Luffy when it comes to these matters. And it really is a mirror of uh, her response at the end of... Um, or, or during uh, the Jaya bar fight scene, where she was also like, guys, beat them up. They're, they've crossed the line. You know, they're talking all the shit about you. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's good of Luffy and Zoro to not have done that because they weren't worth it. But at the same time, you know, it makes sense. If, if that was Killer and, uh, and, and Kid, uh, Captain Kid in there, all those pirates would have been dead. 
Uh, and, yeah. and Nami, you know, is kind of, she's a little more vicious than, uh, than our boys. But the way that she kind of encapsulates in her own small, dare I say, feminine way, uh, it's, I, I thought it was a nice touch. You know, at least she was included in the scene. It's not like we ignored her. She did, she did something proportionate to what she could have done in the scene, I think. So I was perfectly fine with it. Not to mention the fact that Nami and Sanji, you know, they, they, they've known each other for a long time. So it's very appropriate for her to do what she did, I think. To be mad on this on this level. Yeah. It's all Do you around, have any particular comment? Uh, no. Yeah. About Nami. Uh, well, I, I forgot about the slap, but yeah. she was tearing up. She was tearing up. That was that was sad. Yeah, she was. I, I don't sad. know whether she like would actually want to leave now for what Sanji's done. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm thinking mm. she's probably like caught up in the moment, and she probably would. I agree. Like, I think that when you, Nami's probably the smartest one in the crew, except for maybe Usopp or something. I guess Frankie, too, maybe. But she's really smart, and she's going to figure out once her emotions have calmed down, because she's a dumb woman. <laughs> no, that's, that's not what I'm saying. But she's just, you know, her like one of her best friends has more or less betrayed her or has, you know, saying all this. She's talking mad shit. It's like when your friend tweets some hateful things about you on Twitter, it really hurts, and you take a while to calm down. That's what's happening in this chapter of One Piece. Uh, so I I think she'll get over it. Uh, she'll kind of be on Luffy's side. She'll be like the 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 straight man. It's like Luffy, you can't stay here on a hunger strike. That's crazy. And he'll be like, No, Nami, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> it's uh, she's gonna be like the quote unquote voice of reason and encourage him to leave. But you know, she'll be happy when things inevitably work out and this hunger strike plan works out in one way or another. And they I get think, their boy back. I think what's going to happen is Luffy is actually going to stay there, and he's not going to move, and Nami is going to try and find a way, like, find out what is wrong with Sanji, and then go tell Luffy mm-hmm. so that he can come. Well, so that, that brings So that he can come me. Get, a, get a delicious mm-hmm. hamburger. Yeah, that... <laughs> she'll probably bring food and dangle it in front of Luffy. That brings me to uh, a f- one of my favorite things about this chapter. And it was... It's the not that strike? often. What? Was it the hunger strike part? Oh, well, yes. Because in particular, it's the way, it's the character of Luffy presented in this chapter. Because it is not often that we really get something that involves, like, uh, a core aspect of Luffy being particularly, like, plot relevant. A lot of it is just kind of basic shonen hero stuff. Like, I'm going to beat up the bad guys because friendship, and I'm going to be the best, and I'm going to do it, and I'm going to win. And that's, like, we get it. That's just what MCs do. But this chapter, I thought it was fascinating that Luffy would choose to do something, like a hunger strike specifically. So, I mean, if you're not following along, Luffy, at the end, as he's leaving, he's like, Sanji, you may have said all these bad things about you, but I know you're coming back. I am staying here. I am putting my life on the line. My my future as the Pirate King depends on you rejoining me. And the way I'm doing that is that I'm going on a hunger strike. I will only eat from now on the food that you prepare for me or else I will die here. That is my pledge. So that's what he did. So, but by doing that, saying he's going to stay here and only eat Sanji's food, he's choosing inaction. You know, he's choosing like, it's like, it's like fucking Mohandas yeah. Gandhi, you know, or Mahatma Gandhi or whatever his name is, Gandhi. So like, uh, uh, what's the word? Passive resistance or whatever. Uh, th- th- he's being a pacifist the right now, which treatment. is a way different thing. Yeah, it's, it's just Luffy, who's this, you know, uh, shonen jump action hero, jumping around, active, doing things, is choosing this totally unusual path for him to take. But what's genius about it is it's the exact thing that Sanji's character has been built on from the very start about caring about people getting the food they need. So it's the perfect way for Luffy to prey on Sanji's particular weakness. And it's, I, it just, yeah. it's a, it, it took me a little while to accept it. Cause I was like, well, why doesn't Luffy just go beat him up? But when I thought about the themes at play here, I think it is an absolutely genius move. And it's, it's, it just es- reminds me es- why I love One Piece. These sorts of things happen. Um, since Luffy is, like, known for having a ravenous appetite. Like, he's going to get hungry real yeah. quick. That, that's and the other gonna thing. he's going to be, like, sitting there like, like, I can't believe I said that. Oh, no. Not to mention, stick he to is, it. yeah, he's on Whole Cake Island, which is oh, the fucking yeah. place. Like, the ground under him is cake, presumably. So this is going to be real fucking hard to not fucking eat. But, you know, I, I, had a, I had a slight concern, which is, so Sanji's getting married, like, later that day. And this hunger strike, the, like the so like is it, uh, normally going for like 
a day without eating isn't that big a deal for more or less everybody. But maybe because it's Luffy, he's yeah. gonna like be starving real fast. That would make, especially considering he just ate like more food than he's ever eaten in his life in the form of <laughs> yeah. those crackers or, or biscuits. So I, th we'll I think I think what's yeah. gonna happen is that he's gonna it's gonna go from super serious like I'm gonna go on a hunger strike and like mm -hmm. the next chapter maybe not the next chapter but the next time we see Luffy, he's gonna be like comically. <laughs> depressed about how he can't eat anything yeah <laughs> but he's gonna stick to his guns and he's gonna stay no i i can't uh. you know uh, luffy luffy's pretty is a pretty cool guy who does a lot of action things running around and jumping and punching guys and winning the day and how shoku haki using god emperor of mankind but this is one of those moments I mean, because I already know that he's going to stick with it, and it's going to be, like, his defining thing through this arc, and, and maybe some other stuff after. But this is going to be his thing until Sanji comes back. And the, the fact that Luffy, like, the obsessed food guy, the fact that, A, that trait of his is becoming relevant, and, I mean, I thought it was going to be, like, an eating contest sort of thing, but this is way better. This is way more interesting than just, like, some eating contest with Big Mom or something. And yeah. I don't know, maybe that'll happen too. But this is a great oh. way to utilize that unique aspect of him. And it is, uh, it's just, like, such a great dramatic usage of, th of this particular trait of Luffy. And it makes, the fact that he's willing to do this and, like, subject himself to something so odious to him in particular just makes the character truly heroic. In, in my eyes, he really believes in his crewmates, in Sanji. And we know he'd do this for any of his crew at this point. And yeah. it just, it, this is one of those chapters that makes me really uh, like Luffy as a main character. This, it was a great, great usage of his character. And I'm really excited to see where it goes. Yeah. I am wondering though, mm -hmm. he's going to be sitting there like out in the open. And yeah. the island is on like red alert. Is yeah. he going to have to like fight people that come up to him? Ooh, maybe that's why he'll get real hungry. He'll get maybe. real hungry real fast fighting all those people. The and island is on red might, alert. They might that's even true. capture him at some point. Oh, man. But you know what? I that, that's, I that could easily be true. But I think that later on in the arc, we are going to get a shot. Remember when, when Sanji uh, found Zeph after, what, like, the months of being stranded on that rock? And Zeph and Sanji, too, were, like, super emaciated and, like, looked like death. And... Yeah. You know, it was horrible. I think we're going to get some sort of shot like that at the end of this little arc, this hunger strike arc, where it's going to be Luffy looking <laughs> like death because he hasn't eaten. And, you know, it, I, I, it's a little annoying. Well, it's not annoying. It's a little, it's going to be silly because it'll happen in the course of like a day or two, maybe, if if this prediction comes true. Uh, but because it's Luffy, it'll make a little more sense. <laughs> yeah. It is, you know, metabolism so fast. So I, I'm look, I hope that happens. I think it'd be a great sort of uh, full circle for Sanji's character uh, to have that sort of happen to him again in this new situation. If, if And they can, it's like a visual reference to the Zeph, you know, thing. And uh, there'll probably be some panels being like, oh, it's just like Zeph. I don't know, maybe that won't happen, but I think it'd be cool and I hope it does. And uh, I think it'll be great. Everything about this chapter is genius. It was absolutely genius. And uh, even though- I agree. There was kind of, there was less, like, information in it than normal. Like, the artistry of it was kicked up a whole nother level. So, mm, mm, truly, mwah, a choice chapter if there ever was one. Chapter 844, Luffy vs. Sanji. Brillissimo. That's brilliant and ten out of ten. something easy-mo. Yeah, it's a, ten, it's a 10 out of 10 chapter, for real. No joke. Uh, do we have anything else to say about it? I have... Uh, no. I have nothing else to say. <laughs> I'm all done. Well, neither do I. It was, it was great. It was great. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. And we will see you next chapter. Just hopefully next week. But you never know for sure. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. <laughs> see ya.